got elected to the platform in February, and, and it's really, really interesting. Uh, we critique the Europe 2020, I suppose, overall kind of strategic kind of plan. Um, now, one of the things that came before us actually recently was uh, Mr. Zagar's uh, opinion uh, on kind of operational programs and partnership agreements. So the relationship between, I suppose, commission officials um, stroke, um, I suppose, the, the finance teams and kind of national and kind of local kind of and regional kind of governments. And um, so there was a survey conducted. Um, and we got 317 um, contributions. Um, and it was really, really interesting, some of the responses. Um, like 65 to 70 percent of the people actually interviewed kind of said that they were, they were just happy. They were just satisfied with the process. Um, they weren't kind of over happy. Um, and they kind of, they blamed the kind of a number of things in terms of political obstacles and kind of, I suppose, a lack of finance at, at local level to kind of to carry out. Um, carry out activities. Um, I think what was great about the opinion is that it, it got the opinion or perspective of people actually on the ground. I think sometimes the people on the ground actually are, are forgotten about. And that's the great thing with the Committee of the Regions. Um, like a ground up approach is actually given. So instead of like the, it, it's great that the Commission does give direction, um, but for us we actually represent local authorities actually on the ground. Um, so we, we got a whole range of kind of perspectives on, um, I suppose there was, there was some kind of responses that kind of spoke about um, national governments not kind of passing down advice kind of to local bodies actually on the ground. So there was a lot of kind of miscommunication. So there's a, there's a lot of things that actually need to be fixed. So I'm actually really excited about actually Mr. Zagar's uh, opinion. I think one thing that really kind of comes out is that uh, we need to keep kind of communicating with the people actually on the ground. Um, in terms of operational programs. I mean, one of the things was just uh, we need to simplify down some of the, uh, the documentation. It, 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 it's like you, we need on the ground, there needs, um, for the most part, there's these big teams that are actually working on trying to fill out the forms. Um, and sometimes they don't have the time or they don't have the kind of the administration capacity to fill out the kind of these forms. And the, a lot of people actually on the ground as well need training. So between training and kind of extra kind of um, I suppose admin, admin support, financial kind of support, uh, it all kind of builds up and it's all, it's all a kind of, a, a, it can be a huge burden on local and regional authorities.